And tonight, a disturbing new government report says baby food from some of America's largest manufacturers is tainted with toxins that can cause permanent brain damage. The findings come from the company's internal documents. We get more now from CBS News consumer investigative correspondent Anna Werner. The report says many baby foods have dangerous levels of toxic heavy metals, including arsenic, lead, cadmium, and mercury. Chloe, you want more? Something Connecticut mom like Carrie it. Kerner never thought her one-year-old daughter Chloe might be eating. That's the least thing a mother wants to think about. That, that's very concerning as a new mom. Investigators said internal documents from four U.S. baby food manufacturers showed toxic metals in baby foods at levels higher than other products. When compared to government limits for bottled water, the results were up to 91 times the arsenic level, up to 177 times the lead level, and up to 69 times the cadmium level. UCSF professor Tracy Woodruff. A baby who's eating this food can be exposed to multiples of these contaminants. The majority of companies told us they're committed to safety, follow government rules and their own internal standards, and are working on voluntary proposals to limit metals. Congressman Raja Krishnamurthy says voluntary efforts aren't enough. We need the FDA to step into the breach and do what I think the American people believe it is, is its job to do, which is to make sure that the food that their babies consume is safe. The FDA says it's working on it, but acknowledges there's more work to be done. Anna Werner, CBS News, Berkeley, California. Well, as the infant formula shortage continues, we have a new warning about a particular product. The FDA cautioning parents not to buy it and not to feed it to their babies. 12 your Sides' Marilyn Moritz explains why and why some other baby products are being recalled. Parent alert. If you were scrambling to find formula during the shortage and bought this one online, the FDA says do not feed it to your baby. It's Mother's Touch Infant Formula. The FDA says it does not meet nutritional requirements and was not fully tested for harmful bacteria. If you have it, throw it out. Stroller recall. Baby Trend is pulling its Cityscape travel jogger because the parking brake can fail. The gray stroller was sold last year on Amazon. Parents contact Baby Trend for a refund. Bath time danger. Yubaloo is recalling these infant bath seats also sold last year on Amazon. They are a drowning hazard because they don't meet federal standards and can tip over in use. Contact the company and get your money back. And listen to this, 31,000 children's hear muffs are recalled. They're for sound protection, but the alkaline batteries can rupture, causing hearing or burn injuries. They were sold at Sam's Club and other stores. Contact Hearing Lab Technology Lucid Audio for a refund. Finally, September is Baby Safety Month and advocates are urging safe sleep environments. So that means no soft bedding and no stuffed animals in the crib. Nearly 100 infants die each year due to unsafe sleep conditions, most associated with suffocation and soft bedding. A reminder, babies should be put to bed on their backs on a firm, flat surface. Marilyn Moritz, KSAT 12 News. I'm in other news. I got a recall for you this morning, especially parents, so listen up. It's concerning a brand of food that you might need for your baby and you might give it to them. The recall is set for Parents' Choice. It's right there on your screen. It's Rice Baby Cereal. It's sold at Walmart stores and online. The product manufacturer is recalling the cereal out of an abundance of caution after routine testing by the FDA found high levels of natural arsenic. There are no reports of sickness, fortunately. And if you have the cereal, throw it out or get that refund from Walmart for these cheeses in your fridge that are being recalled. Cheese linked to a listeria outbreak that has sickened six people in different states is being recalled. Health officials are advising consumers to throw away the cheese and clean any containers or surfaces that may have come into contact with the cheese. Listeria can survive in the fridge and can spread to other foods and services. The outbreak has sickened six people in California, Massachusetts, Michigan, New Jersey and Texas. Five of those six people were hospitalized. I like to praise Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shah, double honors to the elders of GMS, as teacher preaching on highways and byways, different street corners. Today's topic is 
just created lab food. Dangerous has to your body. I got a video clip to show you. Ezekiel chapter 4 verse 13. 13. And yeah, Yahweh said, Even thus shall the children of Israel eat their foul bread among the Gentiles where I will drive them. And the uh, food represent the bread. You know, it's corrupted. With uh, fake food. And Shalom, y'all brought car. And uh, you have my heart to the brothers out there doing the work. And y'all brought car, y'all brought car. Shalom, Israel. Shalom. Ball, ball to enemies and Shalom. And woe, woe to the enemies. Shalom, Israel.